Hi there, this is Kevin Phillips aka Kevman 3 d and in this video I'm going to demonstrate how you can use a height map generated in a program called World Machine and if you're not sure what World Machine is, it's a program that generates terrains. You can find this on my YouTube channel, there's a video there with a basic introduction. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a height map generated by this program and I'm going to use a modeler here to basically grow a terrain or, or create a 3D terrain from that information. So I'm going to start with create box. I'm going to go in for numeric. Okay, I've already done this once before, so all the settings are still here. What I've done, let's just reset that for a sec. Show you what I did. I said I wanted a box that was four kilometers wide. No kilometers high. I just want it to be a flat plane, basically. Four kilometers deep. And what I want to do is I want to kind of subdivide it up into lots of little polys that are going to be pushed up to generate this mountainscape. So we pick a uh, value maybe 300 by 300. So this is like a very dense grid of small polygons. And then I'm going to turn off the box tool. Now I'm going to go image editor. And you notice that I've already got loaded this image. This is the terrain map generated by World Machine. And if I double click, it's it's pretty gigantic. So uh, there we go. Shrink this down a bit. So what it is is this grayscale map showing the different heights of the mountains or terrain that I've generated. Let's close that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to say, well, I want to use that image to deform this big grid of squares. So under the map tab, I'm going to go down to a tool called Textured Point. And what textured point is, it's a system for generating weight maps based on textures such as fractal textures or in this case an image. I'm going to say I want to make a weight map. I'm going to call it as I have here landscape. And I'm going to go texture. And I've got my terrain map already in here. So it's a planar image and we've got auto size to make sure it fits on the y axis. You notice that it's generated in my uh, perspective view which is set to weight shade. You can see that it's gone all red. If I zoom out, it's a little hard to see because all the polygon edges are here, but there is actually a bit of a, a pattern running through here. Now, I won't worry too much about what it looks like in here. Let's uh, let's just turn this back to texture mode. So I've generated a weight map based on that image, and that's spread across all of the points in my big dense 300 by 300 mesh here. Now, to basically grow the mountainscape out of this, I'm going to go to the Modify tab, and I'm going to click on the Move tool. Now I'm going to go in for Numeric for the Move tool. And what I'm going to do in here is I'm going to set this option here, Fall Off, to Weight Map. So what the Fall Off does is it controls the, kind of the, it scales the tool based on one of these kind of uh, options, say for instance Radial does it on a circular kind of Fall Off. In this case, weight map will do it based on the percentage of weight generated by my image. Now, weight map's on. Okay, I'll close that. And in this one of these side views, back or right, I'm going to uh, use the move tool now with my weight map in control. And I'm going to hold down control just to constrain. Click and drag up. And you can kind of see that all the points are moved at different amounts to generate pretty much a nice 3D terrain based on that height map. Okay, so let's uh, just drop this to the ground a bit. So if we go F3, we can say rest on ground, F3 for keyboard shortcut, go OK. I'll just bring it down to set it on the uh, zero here. It does generate this geometry around the edges as you can see here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just zoom into that. I'm going to just lasso these polygons and delete them. I'm also going to uh, get rid of that. There's some more there. I'm going to just clean up this mesh a little. So lasso and delete. I think that's it. And oh, there's some more. And I'll just clean these up too. It's just because it leaves this kind of line at the edge of the image. Looks pretty good to me now. What you can do if you want this to be a little bit more of a 
little bit denser and a bit smoother you can always hit the tab key to sub patch your object but with 300 by 300 polys it could take a bit of memory to kind of store on but it does look pretty cool but I'm not going to sub patch that instead I'm going to go surface editor and I'm just going to turn on smoothing and that works pretty well this morning and we're kind of done Okay, so I'm going to go S for save. I'm going to save this as Trainscape. And we're done.